Hello! Sim the World here. We are back with our series playing through the Hunter Call of the Wild. We are on the newest New Zealand DLC map. We are on the Teowa Hunting Reserve. Something like that. As you know, my pronunciation of non American words are poor indeed. Let's go ahead. We've got our location that we want to check out for the mission down there. But I did stumble across this point of interest, too. We got a little overly reliant on these tent pole releases. Well, I say more tents and fewer releases. Does that work? <laughs> nah, you're right. All right, so it looks just like a filmmaking location. Are there a lot of films filmed in New Zealand? <laughs> They're certainly making a big deal out of it. I can only think of uh, only the good ones, like Lord of the Rings. Oh, what a mess. If I'd known this was going to happen, I never would have agreed to it. This isn't even the worst of it. Right, let's take it one by one. Just bundle them into crates and I'll get someone to swing by later and transport them out of the reserve. So I thought we are supposed to be hunting on the reserve, not taking down all this uh, equipment. And it's a medieval theme. Hopefully this is, uh, let's see. How do you dismantle? Like medieval fear. Looks more than a bit incongruous out here if you ask me. Well, at least that was quick. I didn't have an actual fire in that thing. Imagine if some silly townie kid had wandered over here and decided it would be a good idea. Okay, so I think she's done talking. She actually wants us to head back over to the lake we were just at. She is mentioning something about a willow tree. We certainly didn't see anything over there. She actually wants us to hunt over there, which I'm a little leery on since uh, we, we did do some hunting there already. So let's, I'm going to go with my own plan of we're going to head over to this outlook on this corner and see if there's anything in the area. We'll do some hunting here and hopefully they'll alleviate the pressure by the lake. That way we'll be able to return and not worry about losing those drinking locations. Ooh, so I'm getting warning thumpings from a... European rabbit. I haven't seen and we haven't hunted rabbit on this this reserve before. So let's go ahead and see if we can't. God, they're going to be so small. It's going to be so difficult to see. Oh, look at them. There they all are. Is there? Oh, so there's a little mound. I bet that's where they live. They're all level one that, oh, there's a level two. Zoom in here. And I missed the shot. Oh, there we go. I hit it. It's a 22. We'll walk over and see if it fell. The 22 is not going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, there's another little mound right there. Yeah, that was a bad shot. I can't believe I missed it. That's usually not how I shoot. Then again, these targets are so small. Let's find out. And little rabbit holes. That's pretty cool. I, I like that. That is the detail that makes this interesting. I'm not seeing any tracks either. So those are bad shots. I'm... I'm going to leave it as is. I don't think there's a rabbit here to claim. We can actually check out the map. Yeah, so if we had killed an animal here, it would turn purple. Letting us know that the animal died. That is one of the tricks you can use when you're tracking an animal that you've wounded. Is if you see that area where you originally shot it go purple, you'll know that it's down somewhere. Otherwise, it's still running around, bleeding everywhere. Or potentially it heal, you know, is such a bad shot you wounded it. You just skin, you know, scrape the skin and it'll lock it off. 
You also see that happen more if your gun is too low of a caliber for what you're hunting. Oh wow, look at this area. This lake looks beautiful. I, I'm going to grab my binoculars. There's a good chance there's something out here. I'm sure there's some drinking locations alongside. Just got to, you, you want to take your time as you're looking around to see if anything, anything moves. Because movement indicates there's an animal. I'm also going to use the spray. This should help. The spray should help kill our own scent. That way, I know things are our scents blowing to the right. We'll go to the right of the lake here. That way, nothing blows across it. And we'll we'll carry the 243 for now. We can quickly switch to either the 22 or the the Magnum as we see fit. So I'm at the bed of the lake. You can't swim in this game, so it's not even worth going in the water. Uh, you move so slow that it's it's really a terrible time. Which makes sense, because I'm in a bunch of hunting gear. I, I should actually take a look from my thumb on the left. It looks pretty furry, so I wonder if I'm in some hot gear. Next time we're at an outpost, I'll see about switching that out, too. Not that I think that makes much of a difference. At least not from what I've seen in my experience playing through the game. But yeah, this area looks beautiful. Like, it's so flat, it's so open. I like hunting these types of maps where there's splots of openness where you can just really see across and you'll see packs of animals moving through or herds depending on what type. But it doesn't look like there's anything here. I also don't think there's any ducks in this game or on this reserve, I should say. There are ducks in the game, but this would be a good spot if there were any in this reserve, but I'm not sure if there's any ducks in New Zealand. Or if they're uh, something that they hunt. We do have some tracks coming up. Let's take a look. So we have a feral pig. Feral pigs may look all cute and cuddly, but you get on their bad side and you'll get nothing but a sore rump for your troubles. They're voracious feeders too, so no need to ask for my permission to shoot on sight. Well, thank you for that, uh, that commentary. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the feral pig. Okay. So this is a cool looking design. Their senses are good. Their hearing's good, but their sense of smell is poor. So we don't have to worry too much about our scent with them in late evening, early morning. So this time of day does not seem like the time they'd be out and about. There's something. Oh, look at that. They're on that side of the map. Are there any good ones? Any high trophy count? I'm seeing threes. I've been hearing something up there too. I think there's a pig nearby. Yeah, there it is. It's a level two. I think for the pigs we can use our magnum. We'll have to... I'll have to confirm that when we take a shot, but I don't think I want to take a shot at a level two, though it looks like these pigs, where'd they go? There they are. Yeah, there's a level three. Pop out our binoculars. This will tell us how far away it is. If they come up on this ridge here, it actually wouldn't make for a bad shot. The pigs actually snuck around the corner here. Look at them all. They're all over the place. This big black one, that's still a pretty far shot. So we got some distance to close in. I'm gonna take my time heading that way. 
Our scent should be fine. It is raining a bit. So that should help cover our sound moving about. There's a level three, there we go. It's still, still 200 meters away. So I did confirm the, the Magnum here is, is the largest caliber gun we can use while still not going over and ruining our trophy score. So this is what we're going to use for the feral pigs. They already move out. Oh, there's a there's a feed location. Pull up my binoculars again. We're we're going to take our time. This is a new animal. We don't want to spook them. Yeah, they seem to be moving into the woods. This doesn't seem to be like a drinking location. I'm going to stand up and walk until we get a bit closer. I think the rain will mask some of our sound, so we should be all right. So I just got a fallow deer. Oh, perfect. I don't think the... I used the Magnum. Uh, obviously, we're looking for the pigs. They had snuck around us again. They seem to be hard to find. This fallow deer seemed to pop up. There's a pig, too. We'll go check out if that's a good shot or not. This area seems to be teeming with wildlife. I think I forgot to hit record, and we actually picked up a European rabbit is only a rank two difficulty so it wasn't very high scoring it wasn't anything to write home about but yeah this this fallow deer was a good shot it looks like the ammo the, the caliper gun we used was a good one so we got full points though the trophy scoring for this was only a yeah it's got a small rack it was it's only a silver that's okay. Collecting animals is a good way to earn some money too. Ammo is not cheap in this game, so that is something to keep an eye out for. That's why I didn't want to start a new game with this. When you start a new game, you get one gun and a few bullets. And it really takes quite a bit of time to level up and actually get some money so you can purchase better weapons. I'd much rather go along and see. Okay, so we did get a good shot. It's a medium bleed rate. But yeah, I, I, I didn't want to waste your guys' time grinding through getting better wep weapons just for a few extra dollars. Yeah, there's the feral pick. Let's go and head over here. Ooh, there's a location marker. So these will tell us this is a resting zone for the pigs. So again, this is another one of those locations that will pop up on the map. And as long as we don't overhunt this area, which we're getting close to doing, you can see here is our rabbit, a fallow deer, and a pig. Uh, we, we want to move on. Well, let's grab the pig first. Look at that, so we hit it in the intestines. That was a bad shot. And no vital organs hit. So we lost any sort of score we, scoring we would have had. It's only a bronze. But the pig design looks really cool. They do a really good job at putting the design work into these games. It's just so easy when you're hunting in this game just to lose hours upon hours just exploring the vastness of this environment. We've got a ways left to go yet to make it to our Outlook location, so 
I'll pop back in if anything interesting comes up or if there's another rabbit. I do want to actually get a recording of us hitting a rabbit. So there's no animals on the point. We made our way up. It looks like it's, it looks like it should be a lighthouse, but I'm not seeing any light. Maybe it's up top there, but we do have our lookout point and this is going to be where we're going to end. So thanks for watching as I simulate my life one game at a time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future action. You can follow on Twitter for updates to future games being played, as well as follow on Twitch as I try to stream three days a week. Thanks, and I'll see you next time at Sim the World.